Hi, my name is Ronaldo Linares from Martino's Cuyon Restaurant in Somerville, New Jersey. Today, I will be showing how to make a Mexican lasagna. What is a Mexican lasagna? Well, I'm about to show you. The ingredients are simple. It's a one, two, three type of dish, and it will make your family smile, and but giving you uh, something of an old world to a new world. The ingredients are easy. They're as follows. We got a nice sofrito of uh, white onions, Spanish onions, red peppers, and jalapenos, which have been diced up. So we're going to mix that up. We have our pan preheating right over there, which we're going to saute that up, get a nice camera lights on there, get all the sugars out, season it with a little bit of salt, a little pepper, some cumin, and some cayenne pepper to get a little spiciness and really give it that Spanish or Latin flavor. As for our, our sauce, since we usually make a red sauce for it, we're going to make it more of a sour uh, cream crema. With sour cream crema, it's three simple ingredients. Water, sour cream, and cojita cheese, which is a whole milk cheese. It's a little salty, but it's sweet. So remember to keep an eye on your salt in this dish because the cojita cheese is going to bring that on the back end, all right? So this is simple. Let's get together. Let's do it right now, and let's bring this dish together. We have the tortillas right here, which I already uh, put them on the oven, and you want to do it right on the open flame. You want to cook them for about two to three minutes to give it a nice char, give it a nice feel, uh, to give it that true corn uh, flavor out. So let's start layering. We have our pan right over here. We're going to make our nice uh, sauce for it, our crema. So we have uh, two cups of sour cream, which we're going to add to our bowl. And remember, just sour cream, water, it's going to help loosen it up, okay? How much water? We're going to do about a half a cup of water. We got eight ounces of cojita cheese. So it's really going to carry around, give it that nice flavor, that nice cheese flavor. So we're going to mix that up. Get your whisk. If you want to use a spatula, that's fine. As long as you mix it up really, really well. All right. So it's going to give it a kind of like a feel of a cottage cheese feel, but it's not going to taste like that at all. This is more of a, let's say, call it Mexican cottage cheese. Okay. You might need a little more water, a little less water, so keep an eye on that. So once we mixed it, just give it a couple of turns there. We have our nice sauce there. So let's start layering. This is a nonstick pan. If you don't have a nonstick pan, you can spray it with some Crisco, a little butter, whatever you like. That, that's going to help the tortilla not to stick while baking. So we're going to layer it. We're going to go three across. There we go. And remember to cook those tortillas beforehand. Very, very important. If you don't, they're going to break apart. They're going to stay stale. This helps them soften up a little bit. And with our uh, sauce that we're about to put, it's going to help it keep it soft. It's going to help it keep it smooth. So let's add a little bit on there. We're going to layer that across. As for our ground beef, that's where we seasoned it with salt, the pepper, the cumin, and the cayenne pepper as well. So we got that there. We seasoned it up real nice. And we're going to kind of just sprinkle it right on there. Don't put too much on each layer because you're going to have about three layers. And that's going to, uh, you know, compensate pretty well. It's going to go across pretty well. So we don't want to add too much ground beef. Why not? Because you don't want to compromise the flavors of the sour cream crema, the uh, tortillas, the cheese in there, and the sofrito of the jalapenos, the onions, and the red peppers. Now we're going to add our layer. Remember, sprinkle it with love all the way around. You want to sprinkle this on because you don't want to get little batches of sofrito here, sofrito there. So when you eat it, you're going to get uh, a lot of vegetable, no meat, and then maybe a lot of meat and no vegetable. So remember to just sprinkle it on. And then I like to add for the spice effect. This is uh, butcher's black peppers, a little more coarse. So I kind of just sprinkle that right on top. This cooks very well, gives a great aroma once it's in the oven. So we got that in there. And all we got to do, wrap it up with foil, put it in the oven, if you have a convention oven, 350 degrees for 40 minutes. And if you don't, 375 degrees for 40 minutes. And that should be perfect. It's going to come out nice. The sour cream crema is going to melt. It's going to come kind of like on a sauce. You got the beef, you got the peppers, and everything's kind of just sweat on each other, develop flavor, develop that goodness, and develop that sazon that I like to call it. So this is Mexican lasagna. Hope you enjoy from Martino's Cuban Restaurant. Mm -hmm.